Hi, Cancer. This is Just with your December 2020 general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Cancer, definitely. So it looks like um, right now some of you aren't playing fair when it comes to career, finance, and business. Um, you may have, you know, did just about anything to get what you want. I feel, for some of you, I feel like you were easily target targeted or easily um, manipulated or easily triggered. That's the word I wanted to use. E- easily triggered by people. But I feel like now you're being smart about your energy and your intentions and you're very focused or you're about to be, and you're going after something you want. Now, for some of you, it could be something completely new, which will, you know, um, require money and you're willing to put in money, but you know that you're going to get double that back. So career, whatever this is with career, and some of you may be in some form of a business partnership with someone, having to work with someone, that's going to work well for some of you. Definitely. I feel like it'll, it'll work well. Others of you though, you need to do it on your own, but you'll learn that over time. Some of you, you may have court proceedings. Everybody, Every sign so far has something with legal or court. So some of you have this legal situation going on. It could have something to do with child support, something like that. Um, and whatever this is, I feel for some of you, it, it's going to be in your favor. So that's really good. You guys may be able to go to a, um, some type of mediator and work it out in that kind of way. You're not going to get everything out of it that you're looking to get. Um, but you'll, you'll make it up. I just see more money coming to you from some type of a job. So you will get some good news back if you're looking for work. Um, you're going to have to work. You're working for your money though. <laughs> Whatever money you're making, you like it. I've, I've worked for this. This is not easy. Like it took a lot for me to get here. So I do see that, but I feel like you're far more focused now. Um, and you're straight out the gate. You're not playing around at all. You are going balls to the wall when it comes to career, your money, and your finance. And that looks really good. And I have to say, in your home life, you may not be as open to socialize with people, no new people, no new friends type thing, right? Um, but but you may just kind of all, all of a sudden go out and have cravings. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's do this. Let's, you know, I, I want to say go out and eat or go out and do something, Um but like, it's like a desire. It's like on a whim type of thing is what it looks like to me. I feel like you're enjoying the people in your home life or people that you've had long-term relationships with. They, yeah, maybe been my friends forever or whatever. Um, your neighbors, that sort of thing. Like whatever you've had a very solid relationships with, that's what you're focusing on. That's a, Those are the people who you're putting your time and your energy into, not these fair weather people and that type of thing. Like you're not interested in that, at least not right now. So it's a very strong, very strong reading for you cancers. And I do feel in the next five years, I keep saying five years. I don't know. Even when I was putting the cards down my head, I was thinking five years when I meant to think five days. So whatever this is, especially if you're starting something completely new, it may not completely, you may not see exactly what you're wanting to see from it in five years um, or so. Something you're starting it could be even with a person that you guys have um, five years together, something like that. Now, um, but in the next five days or so, some of you can feel this all in a day. I see great starts and new beginnings and fresh starts and successful outcomes and kind of getting a hold of your mental state. Because if that mental state was messed up as we saw in the, before it was, you're stronger, you're even more stronger than the last reading I did for you guys. So really strong reading here, Cancer. Only problem is, is that there's a man here. If this is a money situation, Cancer, be careful. Don't just run down and just take, just jump into something financially because, you know, um, vet properly, be discerning um, and pay attention to what people, not just what they're saying, but also what they're doing. You know, you just really have to pay attention right now um, because you, you have a bit of a one track mind, which is understandable. Right. But you may not be seeing the little details. And we as we know, that's where the devil lies. So let's look into love. Now, cancer singles. Mm, mm, mm. You're out here reckless. Women too. Some of you out here was. Some of you women are out here reckless. Doing whatever you want to do. You don't give a damn who you're hurting. You just don't give a damn. It's all about you. Now, an ex could really be having a hard time getting over you. It doesn't seem that you give a damn. If this is a new person, they're not healthy. They're not stable. They're still trying to get over their situation. Either they were kicked out 
broke up. It's just they're still trying to get they're still trying to get their head around it. I see a lot of flirting. I see a I see a messy situation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see a lot of flirting, and that's all well and fine. That's nice. Um, I see this, and it's like these f- again fair weather frivolous hookups and connections is what it looks like to me. Um, and someone is doing it because they're not satisfied. So cancer, be careful because you are stepping on someone's toes. Some of you may be stepping on someone's toes. This is cancer singles. You can be stepping on someone's toes. Like they're married. They're, they're just going through a rough patch and they are entertaining themselves with you. If that makes any sense. Your ex definitely wants you back. That's a 100%. But I feel like you're not trying to go back there again. And they're just, I'm not going to say they're just now realizing how much you mean to them, but it's getting to them more um, than usual. And if you have children with this person, that's a problem too. So you're not letting them see the kids or vice versa, that sort of thing. But I do feel like somebody's going to put their foot down. So if you find out cancers that someone has been lying to you, not the most transparent or honest, you are going to put your foot down. If they're not mentally stable, you're going to realize that really quick and put your foot down. So I don't see anything um, like this kind of lasting for long let's look at cancer single women what do you have coming up definitely focusing on money um ooh, 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 ooh. well if you are a mother um whatever you're nurturing and growing you do that really really well um you may have a woman cancer men who She's she has particular standards and I do feel like com- the communication has been nonstop, but it just ended out of nowhere for some of you. It, oh, I'm talking about cancer women. I'm sorry. Cancer women, you are really focusing on finances and career and that's starting to kind of really take off because you you are devastated, heartbroken. You're heartbroken. You're devastated. You're, you're still trying to process it all. You're still trying to get over all of it. And for some of you your person could be with another woman and now they're married to that woman or there's a significant relationship with that woman. And that may just be like, what, how, what? So there's a sense of being betrayed and devastated all at the same time. But the, 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 the funny part about it is that you look good while you're doing it. <laughs> if this is you, you look good while you're doing it. And I do feel like right about now, at least for what I'm reading for you guys right now, you look pretty strong. So that's good. But I hope you can get over the heartbreak soon. Um, For others of you, this is just long distance. You're getting to know someone that's out of distance from you and you don't know if it's going to work out because it's just too far from each other. Uh, Cancer single men, let's look at you. Okay, I like that. So you have been kind of laying low, cancer single men, laying low and really getting yourself together, gaining peace, understanding, wisdom, um, balance, patience, right? And now you're able to move forward. And it's not that you're even so much looking, well, you do have a particular woman in mind. That's true. Leo, she could be a Leo, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, could be any sign. Of course, we know that. Um, I see Pisces here as well. But the fact of the matter is you're kind of making a decision. So if you were trying to get to know a couple of people, now you're you're zeroing in on one particular person. And now that you're more healthy, right, you may come across someone, a woman or someone who is very... <laughs> oh, boy. This is cancer, right? Well, cancer men... Just be honest. If you're not really ready for anything, don't sell people pipe dreams. Just be honest with them and just let them know that, you know, I'm I'm better now for just me. I'm just I want to stay in this single place. I want I want to enjoy people. Yeah, but I don't want to be pushed into anything. Say that. Um, now, let's look at cancer. Some of you are dealing with Gemini's that keeps coming in my head, but cancer couples. OK, so this relationship is definitely a bit challenged, right? You feel stuck and trapped in the situation. They're not communicating with you. You're both in a hopeless place. And, you know, the the silence, the stalemate isn't helping. Let's just say that. Um, there's a lot to consider in this relationship. You guys may have spent a lot of money on each other. It's significant. You know, this is not one of those fly-by-night 
type of situations, there's a lot to consider. But at this point, this is for the cancers I'm reading for. At this point, you may be feeling like, is it really worth it? Um, is it really worth it? Because I just see like trying to, some of you are trying to get over one person. Like you're trying to move forward with one person while you're still trying to get over another person. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't, that's not going to work. Next year is definitely, I'm so ready to do these yearlies because I really feel like next year is going to be deal breakers for a lot of people, but we'll see. Um, yeah. And I feel like by next year for some of you cancers, someone's going to get their epiphany. You're going to understand. And it's like, okay, I'm out of here. Or this isn't going to work, you know, type of thing. That's for a very specific group of you. Others of you, um, I see if this is something, this, well, let me say this. If this is new, if you guys are trying to fix it and work things out, I do feel like you can fix it and work it out. Just be careful that everybody, well, you can only be as honest as you can be, right? You can't force another person to be honest. Um, but be honest with yourself. I'll say that. Be honest with yourself. Now, some of you, though, Some of you, you're starting to get to like you're dealing with someone new, new for you, and you want to move the needle forward. And I feel like you may be that couple that's like, yeah, we got together on a Monday. We start moved in on a Thursday. We got married by the end of the month type of thing. Like things just start happening so freaking fast. It'll, your head will spin. But here's the thing. Is your mind, is your whole spirit telling you, I, 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 I wouldn't do that. I, I don't know what you're doing. Like, are you getting those signs that I don't know if I'm rushing? Am I, you know, that type of thing? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> because I feel like someone here isn't completely ready to be what the other person wants them to be not completely ready. I just said that this is a Gemini. <coughs> Somebody's not completely ready. Excuse me. Someone's not completely ready. But this is something that time kind of unfolds down the line. You guys will understand exactly what's happening here, whether you're going to work this out. Someone's going to just go their separate way or you're going to work it out together. I see a separation. So you might not live with each other anymore or anywhere close to one another. Or I definitely see no communication right now. And it's like slowly going to start coming back again, coming around again. Um, so in the extent it will look deeper into this relationship, how do they feel about you, the relationship, what challenges are they faced with this relationship? What secrets are they keeping? What would they like to tell you? what's happening now and what's going to be the outcome. We'll also look at Aries to Pisces. How do they feel about you? The link is in the description box below. It also explains everything that we're going to look at. If you want a personal read, click the link to my website to set something up for yourself. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Cancer.